welcome back to fun media and today let's do some beginner stuff effect uh, i'm gonna do three really beginner effect the third one just a little more advanced uh, so the first one's gonna be disappearing when walking the second one's gonna be static like standing disappear or appear if you want to do the opposite and the third one is going to be punching yourself like you against you you versus you combat all right so let's start with the first one so you got someone walking right here all right and jumping on the other side so you can see there's a beam right here so this effect right now we're gonna do it with this beam but you could do it with absolutely nothing just from here to here if you want but just for this tutorial we're gonna do it with the beam all right so you got someone walking and disappearing on the other side that's what you want so let's start it right here we'll cut that right here and then you just go look exactly where the jump's gonna happen and it's happening right here all right right here so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna do a little cut right here and what i want is you you want this part one more time and we're gonna take it from the original video right and see at the end there's nobody so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna cut it here and we we're gonna go put it below right here all right we don't need that cut that this goes to the trash all right so we're jumping right here so we've got this video so what we're gonna do is take that video the original video and we're gonna go with this little tool crop mode right here and you're gonna crop like that so straight into the beam but like I said it would work you don't really need the beam but just for fun this one was filmed like that and that's it I mean the very very beginning of that after that you, you will put more stuff for fun but see now we jump and we don't reappear because we've cropped the first video and what you see right here now is the video below which there's absolutely nobody so that's the beginning of it of course now I will save just control s I would recommend doing that very often and now if you want to do just a little cooler stuff you can go in the sound like maybe sound electronic maybe electricity <coughs> trying I mean you, you could you could put whichever you want I'm just gonna take one part of it just to give your effect a little more life you know and I'm gonna put it about here and I'm just gonna work a bit closer get it more precision all right so now we have a bit of sound we have the disappearance done we have a bit of sound just to give it a little bit of magic but how about we go just a little bit further than that we know that this disappear is from here to about here let's say just at the same length of the electricity right there so what I'm going to do I'm going to select that clip do a little cut right here and I know what I'm going to do is take both clip just take the crop from here to here same with that one the crop from here to here because now what I'm gonna do is I'd like to have a little effect like maybe a bit of light and if I put a transition or an effects I don't want the effect to be in front of the beam I would like to make like if it's behind so if I crop from here the effects gonna, is only gonna be in that clip actually I want it inside that clip 
So let's go see in the effect. You can use your imagination. There's tons of effect you can you could put right now. Uh, what I'm going to do is uh, maybe go see in the camera stuff. Maybe a bit of lens fare. I'm getting something easy right here. Take that one into that clip. See. So now with the effect, let's have a look how it is. See, you had a little bit of light, like it's, you know, something's behind. Oh, here's my arm, so it's not supposed to be there. So I would just take that, cut here, and then you're done. You go export and you're done. So just one more time, jumping. A bit of light, a bit of sound, and you're gone. So this is it for the first effect. Let's go see the second one. All right, so now the second one. So now we've seen disappearing while walking. So how about we just stay there, all right? So this is your video. But it, there's, uh, like, I'm not moving at all. So the disappear should be about right here. All right. Uh, you cut it here. Now you just, of course, when you film, see, now I filmed. I'm going away. And now you want that part or there's absolutely nothing, all right? So I'll just take a part of it, cut that here, take that one, put it below, all right, make it equal, and there you go. We have already the first part done, all right? Now, disappear will be, let's say, start about here I mean you just do your own cinematic stuff you're the director what I'm gonna do I'm just I'm gonna cut the clip maybe a little more all right this one's gonna be a little longer so I'm supposed to be gone about here I'm just gonna cut that one. I'm gonna cut that, and now of course the really, really, really easy part will be to have the ghost effect, like your gun as a ghost. All you gotta do is this right here, and see how it looks. See, you're going like a ghost, but all the rest is staying there. And now, of course, I mean, if you go in a transition right now, not FX, but transition, because you could modify that one that was done right here. So use your imagination again. Try one, two, three, try a lot of stuff. Maybe, I don't know, light blender. I'm just going random right now. Uh, energy blast, maybe. Just to modify your, your disappear, all right? So you put your effect right here. And I just choose one like that. Energy Blast, let's see how it looks. Now, of course, the render is not done yet. But see, now you're not going like a ghost. You're kind of uh, melting, or I don't know. But you just look at how many effect there is photon blast maybe all you're gonna do is press play and you see exactly what's the transition is this one is quite long but you, you could you, you could put it a lot shorter all you got to do is grab it put it on it and then you can change the length if you want right and now it's gonna modify your disappear all right and now let's go see the third and the final one. 
All right, uh, so now let's see the third one. The third one, just before you start your editing, uh, just make sure of something. While you're filming, just while you're filming, think about the editing. Everything, every time you're filming, think about what's coming next, all right? So now, this is the full video, all right? So what I'm gonna do, just cut it right here. All right? So just to, so you see the video exactly what it is with no effect. You're ready to fight. Here's the punch. Boom. All right. Now you wait a little bit. And then you go the other side. And just make sure you receive the punch. Like that. All right. Boom. It was a little fast, but there's, there you go. See? Boom. Receive the punch. So now, let's just make it a bit shorter. All right, fighting position. I don't need that. Now it's clip preparation. We'll prepare the clip. There's the punch. All right, so I'll cut it here. Now let's go receive the punch. About here. So I know I don't need that anymore. And I really like to, once the clip are a little shorter, to make it bigger, All right? Now, punch has been received, All right? Cut. All right, so now you want to make sure they're about the same length but you could adjust that right after but before it's going to be important for for all the stuff that is coming next the one that gives the punch what you want to do is double the clip so you copy a clip paste the clip you have the exact same clip two time and you'll take it above the other, all right? There you go. I'm just cutting the sound for, uh, we don't really need the effect after that. You Like you saw on the first clip, just go in uh, sound, you know, and you have all kind of sound effect, and go put a little rocky, sound, rocky music plus punch, you have punch, or you can record some punch. I won't do that right now because I guess now you know how you just select it and put all your audio track after it. Now we're working about on the effect, all right? So now what you want before you put that clip below is to make sure exactly to know where the punch will happen. All right, so the punch is about here. So that's where you want to receive the punch. What I'm going to do is get a little marker see I have a little marker I know that this marker is where the punch has been received All right so now I'm gonna hide those two clips and put that one so the head starting to receive the punch I'm pretty close actually see I'm very very cl very close so all I got to do is maybe take it back like that. See, starting to receive the punch at where is the marker. So that works. All right, so your first part is done. Let's continue. Now you're going to put back bow clip so the one in the middle you just select it all right and you still have we still have the we've seen the crop tool before previous in uh, this video this tutorial so we're gonna use it again all right we're gonna crop about here to where the other guy is all right There you go. 
So now this guy is punching himself right here. But the problem is we don't have the arm, all right? Because we've been cropping. So this one, this video is this guy here. This one is this guy here. And this one in the top that we've hidden, all right? It's going to be the arm. If we put it, of course, it's going to erase that one because it hasn't been cropped. See? Boom. Now this guy is gone. But we have the arm. That's what we want, all right? So now I'm going to select that clip and we're going to go into mask. Create mask. Create shape. See now we have a mask track that has been added. That's the yellow. That's going to be your mask, all right? And what you want to do is create your mask. So this, this is the undock button just to make it a little bigger. And now you can select what with the free hand if you want. I'll just use the pen. If you have more time, just go with the this one a little more, little more precision. But for the tutorial, all, all I need is that one. All right, so I'm gonna do a quick mask. Of the arm. There you go. The mask is created. It's now red. That that's mean you're done. So you can just put it back, all right, with this button, duck. So the big screen is gonna go back into the small screen right here. So now you're gonna go into function. And what you want is you want a guy that is that is here to reappear, but you want the arm to stay there. So you have the mask properties and the matte properties. So your mask is what's inside the red right here. The matte properties is everything outside. All right. So function opacity. And right away, it's going to zero. See, it has reappear this dude right here. All right. I'll just want to make sure it stays like that right here. So I'm going to put this uh, keyframe. Let's see how it looks now. All right. Boom. That's it. So now, of course, like in every movie, you don't really touch yourself. I mean, you could you could adjust like the position of the video if you want to be more precise. But when it's when it's done and it's fast, and if you had a little audio punch, it's gonna it's gonna look real. See, boom, you're punching yourself.